Hey, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a nice Discord overlay for OBS. Uh, it's a very simple setup. I'll link below in the description. Uh, there's a video I use to make this stuff, and if you want to make a further customized version of this overlay, you'll have to use that stuff in the description. Uh, either way, very simple if you just want to have what I have here and maybe like resize it. Like You can just easily resize this with uh, OBS like you can see I just did right there. Uh, but either way, go to streamkit.discord.com slash overlay. I'll have it linked in the description. It's actually made by Discord, as you can see the discord.com is at the end here. What you want to do is hit install for OBS. Then you'll have a lot of options here. Uh, what I do is a voice widget. This is for the voice chat itself. You can actually see like a different version of me speaking right there. Uh, you want to pick the server and voice chat from the little drop down menu right here. I'm going to have these blurred out because I don't want you to know what Discord server I'm in and what voice channel I'm speaking from. Uh, but yeah, it'll pull from there. There's a lot of options on this website. You can see you can change all of them. And once you've changed these the way you want them, for me, I have literally all of this stuff completely default unchanged. Uh, go right here and copy this entire thing right here. If you click on it, it should automatically highlight everything. So just control C. Uh, then I'll show this in a separate part where you want to hit plus, then browser, and add a browser source. This is now on your OBS. Go add a browser source, name it, whatever you want. I have mine called Discord Overlay. Uh, then where it says URL, paste in what you had right there. And then if you look down a little bit beyond URL, you should see a part that says custom CSS. And there will be a thing in the description. And you want to copy all of that and paste it directly into custom CSS. And once you do that, it should just work fine. Uh, and, and that's really all there is to say. Either way, I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day and good luck with your recordings.